Hey guys, Steve Good here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. Out in the shop tonight working on a tool that I wanted to show you. It's going to be a fairly quick video, uh, but it's something I think is pretty important. Uh, a few weeks ago, I posted a question on the blog about uh, asking for help and coming up with suggestions, tips, and tools to make it easier for people with disabilities to use the scroll saw. Now these disabilities could range from very severe to less severe uh, and not every tool or every tip uh, that we've come up with will be useful to everyone. But if it even just helps one or two people, it's worth doing. Especially what, what I'm gonna show you tonight, which is a very simple tool and something that I think uh, at least some people will find useful. What I have here is a block of wood and I've intentionally made it fairly large just to make it easy to hold on to. On the end of the block of wood, I have super glued a rare earth magnet, and you can see that attached to that magnet is a scroll saw blade. What this is for is to make it easier to install a scroll saw blade, basically one-handed. Uh, and I want to demonstrate that to you right now. Now again, like I said, this won't be useful in every situation, uh, but for some people it might make the difference of being able to use a scroll saw and not being able to use a scroll saw. And uh, one thing I've found from working with people uh, with disabilities is that the scroll saw is a wonderful tool and, uh, to help uh, those people um, exercise their hands uh, and their motor skills. So it's, it's a very useful tool in therapy, plus it's just a lot of fun. So everybody wants to enjoy a hobby. So what you do is you take this blade on the rear earth magnet and one-handed, you can place it down through the hole in the scroll saw. And you, it's easier to look down through the hole. And I've unloosened the bottom clamp quite a bit. And I've pushed that blade up against that bottom clamp. I'm gonna take my right hand, reach under the table, tighten the clamp on the blade. I've got the blade clamped into the lower clamp. I can then move the magnet away, still with just one hand. I can lower the upper arm, place the blade in the upper clamp, tighten the upper blade holder, and apply tension. And we have a tensioned blade ready to saw. Uh, again, if you want to take the blade out without dropping it, when the blade wears out, you may not want to drop it on the floor. You can simply move the magnet back up against the blade, loosen the top clamp, loosen the bottom clamp, and you're back out with that blade ready to install another one. Now, a couple other little tips uh, to use this tool that might be helpful is, of course, you need to be able to get the blade right side up. And uh, some people might find it easier to use the uh, blades that have the notch in the top. Um, the Flying Dutchman and the Nequa blades, uh, both uh, one of their blades, the Ultra Reverse and the uh, uh, the scroll reverse for the Nequa, both have a little notch in the top of the blade so you know where the top is. That makes it a little easier to get it onto the magnet. And of course, you wanna also make sure that you get the blade onto the magnet with the teeth pointing uh, towards you. Uh, so again, that's pretty much a one-handed operation. And uh, I, think, uh, I think this will get you off to a good start. Now, if you don't have any use at all of your offhand, your left hand or your right hand, uh, you still are going to have the problem of once you get it, the blade in the, the machine, uh, you have to be able to hold the wood down while you make the cut. And that's a process that I'm working on now and we'll be coming up with future videos to show that. And basically I think it's going to be just a matter of using the uh, foot that most of us take off of the scroll saw to hold the blank down and learning to manipulate the wood uh, and uh, using the correct woods uh, to make it easier to cut. So I hope this little trick is helpful to you and uh, we'll work on some more of these. I'm Steve Good. Thanks for being here with me at the Scroll Saw Workshop. We'll catch you next time.